Uh, all right. So this looks cool. Switch Palace Ruins. <clears throat> I'm over excited to play it. All right, so right off the bat, it looks like we're looking for a Yoshi. And a pow. Right, that's great terrain. Okay, fish. Probably should have killed that. He's gonna be annoying on the way back. I'm gonna search low first and then work our way up and then get killed by a fish. As I recall, you said this one was easy too, so this will probably take, uh, what, like two hours? Five hours? Something like that. Almost made the exact same mistake. Oh, that's taking me up there. I don't want to be up there. This is, this is great. Alright, so we need a uh, mushroom. Or a P-switch. Uh, fire from a Yoshi. Looks like. Also a Yoshi gate. Where we get fire. All right, I need to remember that. Oh, this guy's annoying. <laughs> get out of here. Uh, we can't. Oh, we can't go over. No, we can't go over. Okay. Oh, that might be a thing. Is that a secret or is that required? That's pretty. Pretty well hidden, and I'm actually kind of lucky that I found that. Yeah, I think what I'm learning tonight, uh, above all things, is that I really need to step up my uh, aesthetics game. Right. We're gonna go on this one first. Oh, jeez. Not expecting that. Clear cra yeah, yeah, I blew through Crafty's level. Blew through it. My wrecking machine. Yeah, no, it, it was, it was, it was an easy level that was actually accurately described as such. Amazing. It's very good though. We will have to catch the video. When it comes out at youtube.com slash <laughs> I don't I don't actually know my URL. I'm actually gonna try the other one first. Um, Cause that coin run looked like a mess that I don't wanna have to deal with right now. <clears throat> so let's work back to the other one. Oops, get in there. <sighs> Which was basically directly below me. Wait, can I just... I can just do that. What am I doing? It's all fish loaded in. I'm afraid of hitting them. to dash because that might be a thing again. Oh, this is interesting. <laughs> so confused. Am I leaving with the Yoshi? Oh, I should have hit the P switch again. Yeah, I get it. Okay. All right. I understand the situation now. 
Jeez. You guys in these uh, P-Switch timed runs tonight are terrifying. Alright, we're fine. Also, why did Yoshi turn around? Uh, I mean, we can just go up here, right? Yes. Super Mario World. You should advertise your YouTube more. Yeah, I, I do need to do the problem with me my my YouTube channel. The problem with me YouTube channel. Um, <laughs> problem with my YouTube channel is I don't actually put up content over there very often. I think this was another um, room, right? Oh, Jesus. That guy. We go. Because we can't. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know, why am I even spitting the thing back down? Uh, but like editing videos is something that's just kind of tedious to do. It's not. It's not something that I enjoy doing. I know. I know a lot of people who um, do YouTube videos say that they find it kind of relaxing, and I I, I just find it extremely tedious. Um, and it's not even so, like it would help if you could listen to music or something. But usually you listen to the audio, and so it's just. See what's in here first, then. Checkpoint. I'm glad. I'm glad I did this thing. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, so let's go take a P switch into this one. Let's see what happens there. I'm just gonna ignore that the um that the yellow one exists for as long as possible. Die, but I just want to see what's up ahead. Of me. Oh, oh no, this is a different one. No, this is the same one, right? No, this is not the same one. Let's just take a break after that one. <laughs> Alright, so you get the helmet and then you go back to the other thing. Alright. Look, nobody saw any of that, right? We're gonna time out anyway. At least you went out with style. Oh wait, you don't have to run in here. <laughs> I just realized. You don't even have to run! <laughs> oh my god. Amazing. Look at the technical prowess. Raw skill. You also don't have to worry about time there. How many more you got? Uh, after this one, what, we're going back to... Or we have to go to, to Michael's next and back to Wombat's. 
Um, and then actually clear Cirrus, right? I think that's everybody. Okay. I remember that there might have been another spot to use this, but I do remember this right here. Oh, and actually. Right, no, I, I need a key. I was thinking about the start of the level. I have a Yoshi and I can get fire, but I don't have a key again. I should have brought a P-Switch in. I really should have seen that key, honestly. Uh, I guess that door spits me out at the bottom. <clears throat> Good guess. Good guess. We haven't needed the yellow room yet. Which makes me wonder if that's like a bonus thing, or... We'll see. <clears throat> okay. Book it. Shit. Yoshi, you have my P switch, dude. Oh, I wanted them to be alive. Okay, I understand. I understand. Just, um... No, not that one. Maybe that one. Just, just hit this block and then I can kill you. Get this block. Come on. Or one of these. One of these will work. That should be good. Alright. Good work. No, it was a muncher at the start, not a bomb. It was a muncher at the start. That's right. So now we're just going back to the beginning of the level. Oh, but we needed a key, right? I bet there was a key in the yellow one. Wasn't it? It's blocking a key door, I think. Right? Oh, let's just go look at it. I think I actually did these in the wrong order. I might have to redo that one. Um, unless, I mean, technically we could probably item juggle both the POW and the P-Switch over there. In Yoshi's mouth, if we wanted to do such a thing. Uh, doesn't sound like the most fun, but we could do it. Pretty sure I didn't do this right. Pretty sure I didn't do this right. Well. Yeah. Unless you have a key. No, it's just. No. Alright. So you do need the key from the yellow one, I'd imagine. I'd imagine that's where it is, because, I mean, we're running out of places, right? Uh, and I can go in there. No, I can't. I mean, I kind of can. I mean, no, I can't. <laughs> yeah, we'll work this out. Don't worry. Don't worry. There's still time. Can I get up there with Yoshi yet? Yeah. <clears throat> Might time out, but there's still two minutes left. And I believe I know where the things are. I won't make this mistake again, for sure. So we should have progress made imminently. That was horrible. 
horrible jump. Zero out of ten. You, yes, you need a key. Yeah. That good attention to detail with the effects there. Was this just a straight run? It, it literally was a straight run. I panicked and then <laughs> screwed up a straight run. Okay, so now the issue is can we get back and get a uh, pow in time? We have a minute. It might be possible. <clears throat> I don't need Yoshi anymore. Do I? Oh no, I do. I need him for the springs. It'd be a lot easier to do this without him. I'm probably gonna time out. <clears throat> yeah, we're gonna time out. Let me give him my best shot. Though. As long as we get in there, the uh, the wall's already broken. So hypothetically, it's not an absurd distance. If I had like 30 more seconds from here, I might have actually been able to do it. Oh wait, I don't need you. I didn't need that at all. Oh, I actually might have had enough time. I didn't need that at all. Comic. <laughs> You're not really streaming Breath of the Wild like every other fucking streamer. <laughs> yeah. I mean, on if I had it, I would. I just don't want to get it right now. I mean, it's gonna be an amazing game. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna play a lot of it. If I'm playing a lot of it, there's a good chance that I'm gonna end up streaming a lot of it. I just want you to be prepared for that day, okay, Zatsu? Because it's gonna come, eventually. It's just gonna come in, like, a year. Or, no, it's not gonna be in a year. It's just gonna be in the year. It's gonna come in, like, a couple months. <laughs> so be ready. In, like, a couple months, this may be a Breath of the Wild stream, too. Probably. It depends how stream friendly the game is. People are saying it's like Zelda meets Skyrim. I imagine it's more just like, you know, old school original Zelda. But if it is, it depends on how open world it is. It might not be the best streaming game. Like, I don't know that I'd ever scream, scream? stream an, uh, an Elder Scrolls game. Excuse me, unless I was doing like speed runs or something. <clears throat> Actually, I don't know. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm just not. I'm not sure. Like, because open world can mean a lot of things. You know. Okay, don't. Kill yourself with the helmet. <laughs> it's really embarrassing when it happens, alright? I need you to not do that. <laughs> alright? I don't. Yeah, there's no way you can get a soft lock there, is there? No, there. Yeah, there is a possible soft lock. If they only. If they only break the bottom one and s you slide in like that. But you'd have to be real dumb to do that. Not saying that I totally wouldn't have done it if the opportunity presented itself. It's just that you have to be dumb. Oh, come on, Yoshi. Ice physics. Come on. Common. Also a brain issue. <laughs> I don't know what I was hoping would have happened, but I was already in it, you know? And it was like, well, I'm not going back to get a Yoshi. 
Let's just try to beat it. <laughs> Everything. It. That's actually really cheese. Um. <laughs> For the sake of seven thousand uh, hate emails a day over it, but you know, it's gotta be me. Right, just flutter up, dude. Just flutter up. Right, we should hypothetically be good from here. So we needed all the things to probably relax. Very cool level. Very cool level. Very beautiful and a nice, nice exploration factor. That was very cool. Hmm. Wow. First clear though. Why is Yoshi in this game? He's there to supervise the um, outsourcing of the labor. Okay, so this is a pretty intriguing level. It went in some some kind of weird but kind of cool directions uh, with it. So for progression, it scored a 9 out of 15. Um, the, there was the basic 3-point progression, which was, you know... Kind of fine, kind of standard. Uh, that that's cool. That's cool. Mm -hmm. And there's the need to grab the P switch between each item, which is really cool in theory. Uh, but in practice, it's really repetitive. Like really, 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 really repetitive. Um, and it's not. It's not like. It doesn't feel like good repetition. It just felt like like busy work repetition. It was just kind of awkwardly placed up in the sky there. It was, I think this would have been easy to fix just by putting in more uh, P-switch pipes or, as a very elegant solution, just have them come out of the entrances to the shrines themselves so that as you're leaving, you can then take a P-switch out of the place you just came from and take it to the next shrine. And that maintains the theme but it significantly reduces the amount of backtracking, which I felt was just it was just overkill. I like backtracking, but this was, this did not feel like good backtracking. Um, what else? Okay. Allowing the key to be gained at any point uh, is a cool little like non-linear element that was nice, and the optional checkpoint that's something you don't normally see, and that was pretty cool too. It didn't make a massive difference, but it's nice. You know, it, it was it was just nice. Um, one thing there that could have been cool was, I mean, you want the you want the key to be gold for the aesthetic aspect of the yellow shrine, and I get that. But you could have done a red coin there, and then a second red coin at the key door, so that you could like incorporate the the functionality of the checkpoint a little bit better. Uh, it might help with the pacing some. You could actually collect that earlier instead of as the last thing, um, which is what I tended to do, and then save it and, you know, go about your business with the other thing. But as it is, it's solid. It, 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 it was a little repetitive, but it was solid. Um, exploration scored 11 out of 15. Uh, it's, it's a very big open overworld area. And there's lots of little holes and paths, and it's very meandering, and and the train's all nicely broken up, and you can move around in all these different directions. And it, like, in terms of just raw freedom of movement, this was probably one of the best levels I've ever played. But it's so empty. It, it's so empty. And in one pass through it, you can see basically everything that you need to see. And so you're done with the exploration phase, like very, very quickly into the level. I mean, having to find the the P switch pipe to really get started—that's 
that helps it for sure. And that was kind of in an, an interesting place out of the way. But for the most part, uh, there's just a lot of there's a lot of void. Like it, it looks really interesting, and it looks like there's a lot of places to go. But when there's a lot of places to go, but not anything to do as you go there, it I mean, it really just kind of calls attention to itself in that way. So that that was a little bit awkward. And then the subworld was um, practically non-existent here. It was uh, linear and just small hallways, small rooms, very, very tight. Uh, I felt like this one really needed something else, just like another larger subworld area. I, I think they didn't have much room left in the subworld. It might have been a big part of the problem, but... Uh, maybe doing only like three shrines and working in something like that or, or something. It, it it felt it felt too small relative to the amount of exploration it looked like you should have been able to do, but you didn't actually get to do because it was just so easy to walk around and just see things and then I don't know. It good but not great. The aesthetics on the other hand were fantastic. Ten out of ten. 10 out of 10. Um, easily the best level silhouette, I think. It was just... It's so beautiful. It's just so beautiful. Just look at it. It's so beautiful. Uh, the overworld was just amazing. Lots of detail. It was lush and vibrant. Normally, I really don't like New Super Mario Bros. Like, the, the visuals. Everything just kind of looks... It's too bright and the objects don't meld together very well, but it it was done well here. It it I mean it's just great. I they originally were gonna score eight here. I had to talk to them um about it. I didn't like the subworld. Like the subworld just looked really just kinda gaudy, just kinda ugly. You know? <laughs> no, it just it didn't look very good. And I was just missing the uh, the P Switch Palace reference that they were making to the Super Mario World P Switch Palaces, and now I get that too. I I dig it. I dig what they're doing here. Um, it just looks great, and they also color coded uh, the enemies to the different shrines, which is just just a nice little detailing there. It was just it's great. It, it's a great looking level. Uh, challenge, 5 out of 10. Uh, this is a good example of how an easy level can still uh, be interesting. Like, they, they have a nice variety in the enemies that you face. Uh, they have the P-runs. There's a little bit of interesting platforming going on. Like, it's, it's all very easy, but there's a lot uh, going on. So, it's, it feels varied. It feels good. Uh, my main issue is that uh, the placement of the challenges could have been better. Like, there are areas in the center of the map that just were super in empty. And I, I, I get that they're color coding the enemies to the different areas, but some sort of, like, neutral mob, like Goombas or Chain Chomps or something that could be placed, you know, strategically around the environment to actually... Uh, have something be there to engage the player as they... Uh, wander around would have been would have been it, it felt like it it was really just missing uh, something there but all in all it was, it was okay uh, and subjective score I gave it a 7 out of 10 um, the overworld was great other than how empty it was as I, I've mentioned um, there was a lot of repetition there was a lot of repetition I really, really, really did not like the P-Switch aspect. I get it thematically, but the repetition just killed it for me. Uh, way, way too much there. And uh, the subworld, I, I get what they're doing thematically now, but I don't know that they use their space wisely. Um, I would have liked a lot of that subworld room being used to actually create something, something expansive, something interesting. Something to explore and see and do instead of just running through hallways and getting items. Um, so that, like, it, it was good. It was not phenomenal. Also, the ending was a little bit of an anticlimax, and they had, like, a second checkpoint available. So some sort of, like, boss or other uh, big finish would have been 
would have been pretty good. Pretty good. Other than that, I mean, it's, it's, it's a good level. Um, unfortunately, so this is where I would normally cut to the uh, speed run. Oh, wait, I forgot to mention. So the total is actually 42 out of um, 60, which means they're tied for third place. Originally, originally they were just short, uh, I think, by like two points. Um, but af after I reconsidered some of the aesthetic things that I, I was admittedly off base on, I think, uh, we do actually have a tied third place. So this is, this is tied for third place with, uh, Michael's level. Um, but I, I would be showing you the speed run here, but, uh, I, I, I don't have it. I don't, <laughs> I don't have it. I guess I took too long to get around to recording all of them and they seem to have taken the level down. I can't find it now, uh, which is... Which is really a bummer. So I'm sorry about that. Um, to be fair, I mean, it would have just been a lot of uh, repetitive piece switch grabbing, right? So just just visualize that in your mind and pretend I was really good at it. Uh, and then go watch like an actual good uh, speedrunner instead. All right, thanks. Bye.